We are going live. Hello, everybody. My name is Tiffany. I'm the Tipsy Artist. And uh, we are going live tonight to teach you how to paint. Encourage one another. This is a really cute pickup truck with a great message that we should always live by. And I have started a little bit early and I'm going to talk you through the steps. But basically our kits come with these wonderful kits that have the, the traceable line art. And so you'll apply that here. And I always make, here's some helpful hints. So you want to make sure that your dull side faces up, shiny side faces down. I just center this in the middle of the canvas. I only tape up at the top. That way when I do a line with a pencil, here it is. I've been busy being creative, so I've got other stuff I've been doing with it. Um, but basically you'll just do a hard line right every single place that you see a line. And then when you lift off, it leaves an impression on your canvas. And then your kit comes with a permanent marker and then you follow up with that too. But you wanna make sure that all of this is left untaped at the bottom so that you can constantly look up and check your work and make sure that you've done every single line. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift this off. And I also wanna say hello again to everybody out there. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions, uh, please leave those below. I always get back to those after the class. All right, I've got my little keyboard. I'm gonna put it up there. All right, so actually let me place this up and then I'm gonna shift the camera down here in just a little bit. Um, let me talk to you about what I've done so far. So initially, I traced everything out and then I did a hard line on it with a permanent marker. And then I came back in and used the biggest brush that you have with your kit, which in your case would be the mama brush. And I mixed a nice big dollop of titanium white. Let's get a visual on that. That's Mars black. There it is titanium white and then also Mars black and I would say heaping quarter size amount of the titanium white and then about a pea size amount of the black and what you want to do is just get a nice big dollop of the white you can add a little bit of water to it and then just a tiny little touch of your black very tiny mix those two together you'll get a really nice soft light gray and then you'll want to place this all over your background and just make like sweeping strokes a little bit of crisscross action on that and just take that all the way around so you can see here i've let mine set up and dry so that i could come back in with my lettering but i came in all the way around the truck i did a little bit of an overpaint over that rear view window all this will bleed through, so you don't have to worry about that. And then I did go ahead and overpaint over the letters. Then I let that set up and dry completely. Then I came back in with a permanent marker one more time, and then I just hit all the lettering one more time. This is a great trick for beginners. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this off to the side for just a moment. Place this down, and then we will shift our camera this way. All right, so. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started now with all these beautiful colors of our pickup truck and then the roses in the middle here. Now I had used the Mama brush, which is just a half inch flat tack on brush for all the background. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out. So I've got my water here nearby. I'm gonna spin it round and round and round. Firm pressure that helps release that paint. I go ahead and kind of squeegee that off onto my rag nearby or your kit has some paper towels. I've also got paper, uh, paper plates, not paper plates, styrofoam plates with your painting kit here. So very long lasting, multiple uses with that. 
We're going to use the second one that we have here for the brighter colors in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our primary magenta. Let's go ahead and do a heaping dollop of that. That's about a heaping dollop, about a dime size amount. grab my mama brush one more time let's go ahead and get some more of that titanium white just a nice dime sized dollop of that as well let's mix those two together lighten that up quite a bit let's make it a really nice light pink We're going to start by doing the base of our roses here. So I'm going to go ahead and sweep this into that shape. And again, this is our titanium white and our primary magenta. And I'm using my Mama brush. This is a half inch flat Taclon brush, holding it just like you'd hold a pencil and just working down over that surface area. Initially, the shapes will just look very much like a flat, solid color. Not a lot of detail yet at this point. You can vary the color of your roses or you can make them all the same color. That's kind of up to you. Got a lot of pink going here. Sometimes it's really pretty to do like a light purple too. If you want to do that, you can always grab the violet and a little bit of white. That creates a, a really pretty lavender color. All right, let's go ahead and clean off Mama Brush. Again, firm pressure round and round. It helps release that paint. Go ahead and squeegee it off the end of the bucket here. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our little bit brush. This is just a round Taclon brush. And then into the shape of these roses, we're going to go ahead and just touch into the titanium white. And we're going to go ahead and just work in little half circles of our white. Kind of wiggle it a little bit. Take it around in a circular pattern all the way around the shape of that rose. This is creating a nice abstraction for that rose shape. Again, you want to wiggle the hand just a little bit. Little half circles. Alright, so we have a really great foundation. Now we're going to keep that same brush. We're going to go ahead and dip right into that primary magenta, the darkest shade here. And we're going to go ahead and make one little like comma shape right in the center. That's the center shadow of that rose. And then we're going to echo that same stroke that we just did, little half circles, and just take that all the way around.
gorgeous, really beautiful little roses. All right, now we're going to work in some awesome little feathers here. So let's go ahead and grab that violet color. And here we go. Here it is, violet. We have a little, this one's brand new, so we have the foil cap on there. Let's go ahead and lift that off. Little dot, little pea size amount. All right, I cleaned off a little bit brush. Now we're gonna take some titanium white and some of our violet. Let's push those two together. It starts to make this really brilliant, bright purple color. And we have a little feather shape right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and work that right into that shape. And let's rinse this out. We'll come back in over the top with some white detail. Little bit brush again. This is just a round Taclon brush with a nice fine point. We're gonna twist it into the paint just a little bit to make a nice fine point. And then we'll run a nice little line right through the middle, a little bit of a wiggle to that. And then little diagonal lines off to the side. All right, now let's come back in one more time with same brush and a little bit of that darkest shade of purple and run right next to that white, a little bit of a soft blend. And just echo each little line there, a little bit of a shadow to it. And hello to everybody out there who is joining us live. We're so happy to see you all tonight. Again, if you have any questions or comments, be sure and leave them in the comments below. And I always get back to those after the class. All right, let's do another pretty lavender little feather here. So I'm going to work back in. Same brush, a little bit. Our bright purple. Grab a little bit of white, work back and forth, little diagonal lines and just kind of pull that right out from the center. Light hand, working back and forth between that little bit of purple and the white. Get a nice sweet blend between those two. Going with the darkest purple next. Really beautiful. All right, now let's show you how to mix up a little bit of some brown. Okay, so this is a really pretty brown. We're going to do some cadmium orange. And we already have some black from earlier. So we're going to use about almost equal parts, so a little pea-sized amount of that black mixed in with our orange. Let's work those two together. That's going to give us a really nice chocolate brown. Beautiful. Now let's add a little touch of white. Lighten that up just a tad. Put little buddy back into the water. Now I'm going to take a little bit again, nice clean brush, go into that light brown. And we're going to work that into this little feather. Got a little bit of a chevron pattern happening here. We're going to work that nice light brown right into that shape. Then 
Then we'll sweep right next to it with just some pure white here. And if we get a little bit of a light blend between the two, that is wonderful actually. Pull that down into the rest of the shade. Tint that white just a little bit. Now let's grab a little bit of that darkest brown now. Same brush, a little bit. Let's do a nice thin line right through the center and then around on each side. Now let's add little tiny diagonal feathering strokes. mix up some green okay so we have lots of beautiful greens here let's go with some viridian first it has a beautiful teal quality to it little heaping nickel size amount there and let's grab some cadmium cadmium green And then let's go ahead and get some bright yellow green too. We'll have plenty of fun stuff to mix in. All right, now I just have a lot of fun playing with all these three colors all together. So we have our bright yellow green, cadmium green, and viridian. Let's go ahead and take a dip into all three. Got that brown that's still just a little bit wet nearby, which I actually really love. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that into the green. Also picking up a little bit of that bright white that's still a little bit wet, working that in. Let's go a little bit brighter. We'll go ahead and do a little press into that loop shape. Press down, then pull into the center. Picking up a nice little ball of paint right there in the end, and then I'll do a firm little press and then pull out from there. Just make some nice texture. So again, a little bit of a push and then pull and then lift off with a light hand. Now this is our first layer. We're gonna go back over this and hit this a few more times around the edges when we get our truck color worked in. All right, looking good. So now, 
let's go ahead and work in some of our beautiful truck color here. All right, so we need some turquoise. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we have enough Viridian. I still have quite a bit here, but I want to make sure I have enough for leaves and the turquoise. And I want to make sure it's near my white. So I'm going to go back over to the gray plate here. Let's go ahead and do a little dollop, pea-sized amount of Viridian. And our primary cyan blue. And then we'll hit it with some more white too and blend that out for some turquoise. So I'm going to use my little buddy brush. Pick up a nice big dollop of white. Let's grab some Viridian and some primary cyan blue. And there we have it. it there's some beautiful turquoise. And I'm going to place little buddy into the water. I'm going to go back to my little bit brush here. Beautiful turquoise color. Let's go ahead and twist that out for a nice fine point. And then we're going to make a turquoise pickup truck. So to cover any transparencies, what you'll want to do is after, you're, after you do your initial stroke here, holding the brush just more like a pencil, try to lay that brush a little bit more over to the side. It just rests on the side. That'll help give you a nice gentle hand and lay some nice opaque color into that surface area. So I touched a little bit of pink and that got into my background. So a little trick here, I've got a little bit of a water here on a clean brush and just touch a little bit of water right there. And then let's go ahead and just lift that off. I cannot find my paper towels. I probably don't have them near me, but paper towels actually work a little bit better. They're a little bit more gentle and they'll lift that right off with just a touch. I need to work in one more little rose right there. Let's feather out any brush strokes you see, holding that brush a little bit more over to the side. Just lightly feather that out.
Let's do another mix here. Big dollop of white, a little touch of Viridian, and a little touch of primary cyan blue. Let's work that all back in together. Do a little bit of an overpaint here because we'll come back over the top with some feather detail. All right, we just cleaned off little bit brush and let's go ahead and do oops you know what I missed a whole section running through here that was a bit premature wasn't it let's come back in and hit that again all right we see a lot of strokes in there so I'm gonna go ahead and feather that out light hand side of the brush softly work that back out top with some details. So I still need that rose in there, so I'm going to go ahead and pull in a little bit of this primary magenta, a little touch of white. Let's kind of circle that in. Little circles. And now a little bit of white. We still have this little bit of pink and white, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over the top of any roses that we need to touch up a little bit. a little bit of black right in through here so a little bit brush and our black paint this is our Mars black just hold it just like a pencil work right into that shape down a little straight line.
little outlines now. I roll this out like little Cheerio shapes. We'll fill that back in here in just a minute with some touch up of white. A nice fine point, remember to kind of twist it out between your fingertips, roll it into the paint, that'll give you a nice fine point again. All right, let's go ahead and work in this nice, light, soft gray here on the bumper, and then we'll finish out the rest of our black there after that. Again, that was just a little bit of some titanium white and Mars black, about equal parts on that. And a little bit of overpaint because I will come back in and touch up all the feathering and the green leaves over the top one more time with detail. Clean little bit brush. All right, let's go back in with our black. diagonal strokes down to one side let's grab some white echo the same stroke
a little bit of white, kind of wiggle it through those stripes. time through the black. Grab our white and a little bit more of that violet. Let's touch into our white again, a little bit brush. And we're going to do just a little, hold on, I've got a little stray there. And a little parentheses, a little reflection there. Alright, now we can have some fun with some little white dots as well. So let's grab a larger brush that gives us a bigger circle, so we'll use our mama brush. But this time we're going to use the end of the brush, and we're going to dip right into that white. Gives us a perfect circle, and then we'll just press down. Just looks like a little hint of baby's breath. There's some small white flowers peeking through. Yeah, that'd be it. OK, 
Okay, so could theoretically be done. I'm just going to look it over a little bit more, make sure that we've got all that we need here. I'm going to come back over just a few more parts of the green again. I'm going to come back in with that really light, bright green and the little bit brush. Just give it a little bit more texture and a little highlight right over the top. I think we are done with our beautiful painting so of course you can sign your masterpiece and the easiest way for beginners to do that is to use your permanent marker here Ta -da! perfect all right there we go there it is Beautiful job, everybody. So you can find this painting kit on our website, tipsyartist.com. And if you need any help finding it, just let me know. You can email me, info at tipsyartist.com, and I'll help you out there as well. But y'all have a lovely night. It is a great evening. Relax, have a great time, and ah, just relax and succeed. And we will see you again really soon. Toodles.